<laughs> and what up, what up, what up, OTG <laughs> podcast listeners. We're on the show four minutes later. And uh, we got a very, very special episode today. We got two special guests, John and Mike. And it <laughs> is actually just like the episode um, with uh, that we did that we did last week where that the guest came in. We had um, a financial advisor, Colton, Colton Cockrell. He, he came in and actually met him. We, he sat down. We talked for like two minutes and then I, I was like all right we started recording so uh, same thing with these two guys right here um these it's it's actually a fun a really fun show because these guys have a uh fairly young podcast as well right how, how many how long has it been around it's like just a year right right out of year yeah so fairly young podcast as well and um these guys are uh apparently it's gaining some traction it's doing really well so it's fun to sit down with some people that um that know kind of what Phil and I have been dealing with and going through. Well, y'all definitely don't know say the, no. The growing, <laughs> well, y'all know the growing pains of starting the podcast from nothing, right? And then you're working through. Uh, I don't know if you had all the. Do we had some GoPro? Hope GoPro doesn't sue me. <laughs> we, had, we had a whole <laughs> load of problems with these GoPros, and um, now we got OTG underscore Lucas with one perfect shot in charge <laughs> of all the the recording. Um, he's actually here today behind the camera where he likes to be. But um, anyway, we had a bunch of problems, and so I guess we can kind of talk through that later on. But um, man, let's go. Let's get started with our standard. Um, uh, who, who y'all guys are? Um, I know y'all are not just podcast show hosts, but your friends, right? Mm, um, barely. Yeah. barely. Oh, <laughs> kind of. Not today. Depending on who you ask. Yeah, depending on like, what shirt he wears. I don't like him. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> see this. Crap. I got this from his closet. Oh. <laughs> that's the funny part. Yeah, but I don't so have small. a comeback for that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen these guys, and there wasn't insults being thrown back and forth. That's how you know the they're entire friends. Time. Yeah. That's well, how you know. Y'all don't friends. do that or what? Oh yeah. Well, well, it's, it's more like trash talk. How I'm going to beat him at something, yeah. uh, which doesn't usually happen. He's going to be better than me at That's something. It. It's more of a competitive instead yeah, of go. just like a screw you type thing. But I do have friends where I'm like that. Uh, really? Where I, yeah, where we have that kind of banter. But uh, man, guys, uh, go, let's. I'll let. I'll give you all the mic okay. here. Um, go ahead and tell. Inter- <laughs> in a, in a, oh shit! Here you go. You got the intro. Hey, my name is Mike. <laughs> I, I want to drop a line. Anyway. Yeah, you could give the beat though. Uh, oh, okay. Shit. All right. Come so, on. so go ahead. It. Go ahead. Tell us who you are um, and um, how you met and everything, and then we'll go into. We'll talk a little bit about y'all's podcast, and the show will flow from there. So, go ahead, guys. Yeah. So, how you know us is from uh, curiosity with Mike and John, and uh, I'm Mike, and uh, me and John know each other from. Uh, work and we were talking about having a podcast for a long time and mm-hmm. we finally took the plunge and that was right around COVID. So that's when everybody yeah. was started to do entrepreneurship, like yeah. started to do projects, new hobbies, of, everything. Yeah. So a little, it was either, it was kind of sink or swim. A lot of people took off and a lot of people, you know, businesses kind of got hurt from COVID, but there was a lot of people that started something that got a lot of traction during that time. Yeah. So yeah. y'all are, y'all are coworkers become friends and kind of like lunchroom. Yeah. We're, we're going to, we're going to start a podcast one day and then here's COVID let's do it. Yeah. I don't right. know if it ever like started off initially, like we're going to start a podcast. It was kind of like, well, let's, let's make YouTube videos. So oh, okay. we had a, like a brief stint of like uh, recording our runs and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then it just kind of like, I don't know where it came from. It was like, Hey, let's start. Oh, it kind of like helped. So when, when COVID um, hit, there were some local businesses that were, uh, you know, obviously taking a hit due to COVID and the mm-hmm. lockdown. So we, we <clears throat> talked about starting a podcast, helping promote local businesses. That's awesome. So that's kind of how it started. And yeah. then it, and then it, it kind of grew into starting to help them advertise. Exactly. Yeah. yeah free advertisement. Out. And it was start. it was kind of awkward at first, right? Cause people are like, wait, you want us to go on your podcast yeah. for free pitch? and talk about our business? And like, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> very, so. It's very cool. Well, you know, it's it's sad that people aren't used to it, um, others stepping up to help them just to help out. Yeah, know? for, it's for kinda, no reason. It's kind of sad yeah, that, they pe- don't have that people have a hard time accepting that, but it's reality. Yeah, because yeah. we're not, I mean, like y'all, like we're not getting paid to do yeah. any of this. This right. is, yeah. this is we're doing this on our, on our passion, free time. Passion pa- hobby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool, love, man. Love ho- very hobbies. cool. So you started off as YouTube guys and COVID hit and it's kind of like, hey, let's help out some small businesses. We're going to start a podcast to help advertise. And um, y'all call it Curiosity. And um, let's talk about kind of how it's how it's evolved. Um, you started off doing some advertising. Hey, check out these restaurants or these local businesses um, for XYZ reason. And then now um, my understanding is... Uh, Y'all kind of interview all different types of business owners and just talk about their journey, um, their business journeys, right? Is that is that correct? Or, yeah. or so? Yeah, I mean, 
I guess we kind of started off doing the, the whole small business thing, but, um, and that's a passion of ours, but curiosity, just the name alone, we're just curious individuals that want to know more about people. And with the businesses, it's about businesses, but it's also about who they are and how they started it and what yeah. gave them the, the motivation to start it. Um, and then we ventured off. We like people with uh, athletic stories. We like people with experiences in their lives that they've went through that they can share mm-hmm. with other people. And, uh, what else we, we, we got an artist on today. Yeah. We had a first, our first musical Houston rapper today. Oh, oh nice. wow. Yeah. And then, you know, COVID's obviously a big thing. So we try to get like some epidemiologists or some doctors yeah. to talk about it. Yeah. Um, That's really cool. Wow. Some, the local college president, a new guy that came in. And so we, we just hit a lick, like send him an email and he's like, sure. Yeah. So, how are you getting these guests? Dude, email. It's man. that beard. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's the beard. It's gotta be. You know, y- y'all kind of know the thing. You're like, you have to kind of. Well, I guess you don't produce all the stuff. Lucas helps a little bit with that. But <laughs> OTG underscore Lucas with one perfect shot. <laughs> Freaking low. That's him. That's fast. Yeah, that's good, do that a lot. It's a good name. That's a, that's a good shout out. Should be OTG um, dot Lucas, but it's not. <clears throat> yeah, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, hate, not, the, hate the underscore. Right? Yeah, <laughs> underscore suck. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny go ahead man it's, it's it's a lot of work though it's like uh he'll email and 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 instagram and facebook people, I'll, people. I'll do that stuff we'll do, kind of do like cold call kind of things um some people we know and, it, yeah. and it's easier but um he's been able to get quite a few people uh emailing them so uh, yeah. we'll, we'll get them on um and then they end up loving it too they'll come yeah. on they like to do it it's um uh, after you get out the headphones, it feels like you're just in this zone of like, yeah, you man. get and it gets more natural, but it looks kind of unnatural coming into a room like this with yeah, lights and cameras. Sit down and get microphones and headphones and then talk to each other about everything. Yeah. When reality, I mean, you have conversations with people every day just because you're not in a room with headphones on uh, makes it feel more weird when you do do it that way, I guess. So I, I can understand that, but I mean, we've had a handful of guests that we all know, but I feel like all of them have had a really good time. Like all, mm. Um, Colton came on. Has Colton ever been on a podcast? That I you mean, know he, of? they have a podcast, but it's like really short, strictly business. Yeah. Where our pod, this mm. show is more, we're on here having fun. There's a lot of well, banter, total free flow conversation. Um, so they, on their podcast, it's like question, answer, question, answer, question, yeah, answer. Yeah. No. And 10 minutes. We found know. that, um, um, a lot of people are, are structured like that and you know, teach, but however you want to do it. Um, I just feel like Phil and I have been best friends since we were nine years old and, I, our, we can just talk. Yeah. All our, day. our banter kit. We can just talk. So literally the podcast started or one of the reasons the podcast started, I was telling Daryl about it, that I wanted to do a podcast for a long time, especially after I came on your guys' show. And so I had a lot of fun and stuff, but we would, our discussions when we would work out, like when we we're in the gym, Daryl would just like, dude, we should just have microphones we, and just <laughs> record our gym conversations. Well, and then like, like, well, we just took everything that we talked about and brought it on to the Right yeah. into a podcast. I was like, we need, we need to hire somebody with a good camera just to follow us around and document all of the, the, all the shit we do. Some of it's weird. Some of it's cool. Some of it's fun. But like I was, we always had these experiences and none of it's really documented. Sometimes you snap a picture, but I mean, none of it's really like, <clears throat> none of it really, I don't know. It, I feel like it could gain, it could gain popularity, but more importantly, it could help people. Uh, Cause we talk about a lot about experiences and where we want to go. And this guy's b- built and is growing a business and um you know i've built a career and a and an investment portfolio both from nothing right so while they're not huge accomplishments we're not the president of the united states or anything people could benefit from from what we have to say Absolutely. It, it sounds like y'all two guys have um you know with curiosity being y'all are m- mainly curious about people and what they do and what their stories are it sounds like um you know you're talking about epidemiologists and stuff it sounds like y'all want to have people on the podcast that can help others as well with what their opinions are and, and, um, what the facts are, what they have to say. So you bring these people on and, and you know, they're, they're the content, anybody, if you help one person listening, it's worth it, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> I think it's, it, it's cool too. Cause Mike is, Mike and I are like vastly different from each other. Just, the really? beliefs wives yeah, and like, I'm good looking and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. overweight and all that good stuff. Yeah. Dude, that's kind of tough. Just but hang out with this guy? The beard versus I know. the biceps. I, know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like this guy. <laughs> but like, you know, he He's has different, he has different <laughs> likes than I, than I have. I, you know, 
I probably want to get a little more newsy sometimes and mm-hmm. talk about like local current events. And mm-hmm. he wants to talk about other stuff that, uh, you know, photography or videography or something. Yeah. So it's like a good mix yeah. of, of yeah. content. So, well, it, it's kind of cool to have, um, you know, you have a, we have a tendency in this world we live in, especially social media to get into what they call the echo chamber. You end up surrounded by and listening to people and viewing content. That's only, what you, you know, how, how you believe or how you see things. And it's very important. I do not like that the world, especially the country has gone to a place where if we disagree on one thing, we, we don't have anything in common and we can't talk and screw you. And yeah. I don't want to hear what yeah. you have to say. Immediately can't be friends just yeah. because we disagree on one, on thing. one thing. Yeah. And I don't know where that's kind of, uh, I don't know what that's rooted in, but you know, just because you don't view one thing the same way doesn't mean you can't Obviously, it doesn't mean you can't be good friends and and uh, have good conversation and make uh, make progress in other areas. You know, just because there's that one thing that you don't you know you don't necessarily agree with them on. Yeah. And um, I think it's important, you know, to to show that you can't that can be done. You know, you know, just you, you can still work together and and move towards common goals. Just because or, or, or it's not you can't do that just because you don't agree on one thing. You know, you can still get together and do that. So. Yeah. Um, that, that's cool, man. So how many episodes are we at with curiosity? Give or take 50, 55, 56. No, full. We just, so we just recorded our 56 one today. 56 wow. one. How yeah. often do y'all put it? about a week or we try to at least do once a week, once a week. Um, we're starting to, uh, we want to do two a week now, Yeah, but it's, it's hard to get, get that many guests. Where do you guys, you guys work full time. Where do you, we um, do. You, I know you mostly do it on Fridays, kind of like we do as well, because Daryl's off on Fridays. And uh, so do you just spend your whole Friday doing this, that it's completely dedicated? You know this is what you're doing yeah. all day. What about the editing? So we, we try to stack up everything on Friday, like you were saying. Yeah. Some, we've done as much as three yeah. on, in one day. Nice. And they're they're at least an hour long. Wow. Um, we try to keep it under an hour, because... Lucas probably knows better, but <laughs> editing sucks. Yeah. yeah. And especially well. this can- two camera setup, but yeah. it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, as far as editing, uh, we split it. So, um, so I'm editing the next one and then the next one will be his. Oh yeah, nice. go back and forth. Cool setup. And yeah. we okay. try to, so we do it on Friday. We try to get them out by Wednesday just by the metrics. It looks like that's the best way, yeah. uh, like for all the platforms to, to put it out early on Wednesday is what we found. But uh, John will get them done on time all the time, and I will He's be a, a little late. He's a slacker, man. Can I, can I cuss on him? Are you oh, like, yeah. Okay? He's a fucking oh, slacker. Whatever you want. Mike, Mike will cuss. talk a lot of bullshit. Like, I can do this, I can do that. But he can never get stuff so, done on time. Can now. being able to do something and actually doing it. Yeah, yeah two yeah. different things. Yeah, He'll yeah. run his mouth about, like, what, what, uh, I don't know if y'all do go. like, like <laughs> start it. Yeah, 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 I don't, I don't know. Know. take a breath. I don't know if y'all do, uh, do y'all do like, clips of episodes Wait, like teasers like little teasers so we just now wanted to start implementing that but when you say y'all you mean lucas okay lucas, so lucas does do that now we, yes. we've seen on so mike's thing is youtube mike loves youtube yeah. i like I, video I, he likes audio i like the audio but okay. i've noticed on youtube on that when we break apart our clips and put like a two minute clip on youtube it gets way more views than the actual we were just talking does. about that you remember lucas i sent you that um uh, I sent you a screenshot of that one podcast that I listened to yeah. on it's YouTube. It's called the highlight, right? Yeah. There. And he puts it like, if you look on, uh, like we put it up in the corner, it'll say full podcast or it'll say highlight on the thumbnail, you know? Yep. And, um, so yeah, we're going to, we're starting to do that as well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that, so those clips that we put on, we don't share those. Like we just put them on and make them public and he makes a thumbnail and that's it. Yeah. And most of the time those clips end up having more clicks than the actual yeah. podcast does. Yeah. yeah. Same. That's why I think about why TikTok is so viral and yeah. real short clips <clears throat> because yep. people don't want to stick around for a long, I do. I'm a long form content type of guy, Yeah. but, and I even struggle creating like ask Luke cause I, I struggle creating short content because I want to be very clear and concise and make sure everybody understands that it's very rare in this world, especially when it comes to health and fitness, that one thing is exactly right. Absolutely. So you need time to convey talk the, to convey yeah, the different messages. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, put out the correct information. And it's very difficult in a short yep. period of time. But anyway, that's what people want is, yeah. is, is the short stuff. So I, I, I've, I've, I've told them, like, hey, we need to start doing this more. So I'll do like three clips, not just, 
you know, crappy anything clips, like stuff that I feel like is probably good content. Cut a decent chunk out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like two minutes. Min- minute, one or two minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One to two minutes. This guy never does it. Mm. I, never does I, I, I it. Bro. It. I did it today. See there? I don't, I don't believe you. And I, I do it every time. I want to see it. Yeah. See it I want to see it in the video. Well, I want to see John did, or Mike did this. Look on there and every other, every episode has a teaser. So, but, I mean, uh, it happens. It seems the, to happen. So, he, you probably pick up the slack, huh? He doesn't do them. No, I just I, do them and he's full of shit all the time. You'll yeah. find out real quick he's full of shit. <laughs> if you listen to any of our this content, guy, you'll realize this guy's full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to this guy over here. But he gets on some shit right now. So like Ugh. he's working from home a lot now and he's doing a lot of research. So nice. he's trying to get his, uh, he's trying to get us into everything. So yeah. we're on all these platforms and it's, it's, it's a good way. I mean, you put a little bit of content and you get people from other platforms mm-hmm. to wherever you want. If you wanted to come to YouTube or, yeah. or Facebook, or whatever, but this guy has got us off in the weeds. He no, started, no, no. Give me some examples. There's no off in the weeds. He started setting up another camera, one of our old GoPros, and now we're on Twitch. Yeah. Oh, nice. We've okay. been on oh, Twitch. Oh, nice. Yeah. We've been on <laughs> Twitch this. for uh, two episodes now. We had uh, somewhere around 100 viewers for two episodes. And I don't know what he's po- he like. I don't know if we're on, like he has a camera on face. I don't know if we're on TikTok, <laughs> on Instagram Reels, all over the place. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have like, everything as well. Well, we, Is there a we've TikTok? got a. Yeah, we have a, uh, yeah, oh. it's just like the Jesse. <laughs> Shit, yeah. surprise. It's, yeah. it's mostly, I knew about that. It's mostly straight fitness stuff, though. We don't really put the podcast on, yeah. on TikTok, but it's, it's straight gym stuff. But I feel, I feel like the, like the Facebook and the Instagram, like maybe Instagram is a little more relevant, but I don't feel like it. I like everything is going more towards the Twitch or another form of. Man. Getting your information the, out there. So the you know? you know the TikTok is explosive. What ha- where's the Vine? What happened to Vine? It turned into TikTok. 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 Is, it, is it the same? Uh, is it the same? Is no, it the s- it's similar style. Uh, I think Instagram by Vine. Is that what it was? They yeah. Yeah. shut them, them down. I think so. They yeah, wanted to shut them down. Man. Probably better Google that. Too much traction. Y'all should use him as Jamie too, and you can look up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie or <laughs> Lucas? Look yeah. up what happened to yeah. Vine. <laughs> nah, he's he's on TikTok. Looking he's TikTok right now. He's TikTok right now. Look at them TikTok. What happened to Vine? Put that on. Yeah. I don't know if you can do that. That's funny, y'all. So um, the show. So we're talking about, well, obviously, so somebody thinks the other one's full of shit and don't listen to this guy. Just one of them. Yeah. <laughs> this one, just one of them. Uh, what's, what's the future of the show look like? Are y'all going to, do y'all like kind of um, where, like the direction that it's going with uh, uh, the types of guests you have on and the type of uh, flow that the show has and y'all want to grow it like that or do y'all want to expand or pivot from there, go a different direction? What, what do y'all have in mind for the future? I want to keep, I just want to keep it op- wide open. Like you never yeah. know what, what to expect. So there'd be a, some, a little something for everybody. It's kind of, it's kind of like the Joe Rogan format. That, you, you know, I find that's so, that's super cool, dude. I, I used to pick on Joe Rogan. I used to pick what I wanted to hear. Like yeah. what, what, what relates to me? I just let it ride. I listen to whatever and I always get into new things. So yeah. that's kind of what I want. I, I hope for ours is that <clears throat> something comes on that you might not be into, but you listen, you're like, Oh shit, I never knew about Maybe that. Maybe you're actually interested in it. And it's yeah. only because uh, ignorance and ignorant, not in a bad way, but you literally just did not you even know, know this right. thing existed. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then you could start getting into that and we can all grow together to learn new things. Cause there's, Guess that you know he brings on that I completely don't agree with. Yeah, and um, I, I pick up a how few, is that? A few Tell, good things. How's that go? Whenever um, I don't know. Uh, there's <laughs> like he'll bring someone that hunts on, and I'm not really a hunter, so yeah. but I I find something that's interesting about it, uh-huh. and you know I bought a gun the other day, so it's like yeah, oh, see, yeah. not from the guest, but it, it could have been, been some little small things in there. That it was from the guest. Uh-huh. And then I have people that are kind of more artsy that he's not as into, um, mm-hmm. but then he ends up finding an interest in it too. So yeah. it's, uh, like, I, it, I feel like surrounding, like the reason we wanted you on, like we want to like vibe off your energy and like the people like that. Like I want, like, like we, uh, we always refer to Joe Rogan. I, I listen to Joe Rogan a lot, but right. same. he, he, he is a smart person because mm-hmm. he talks to a lot of different people. Right. Yeah. I want to copy that. I want to, yeah. I want to talk to a lot of different people mm-hmm. and learn something about, Whatever it is, like whatever it's a, like we had a video. I don't care anything about camera stuff. I give Mike a hard time about camera. I don't care. I don't give a shit about cameras. He cares. But I, I learn a lot from Mike and from the video guy. And yeah. And I and, and then now, when you see it, you're like, oh man, you have you have maybe more of a respect for yeah. the outcome. Yeah. I want you know a little bit maybe. So, yeah. and, and then the other thing too with talking to a lot of different people, 
And because I was telling you, like, a lot of this started from our just gym conversations when we work out because even though we're best friends, we don't work together. You know, as adults, we have responsibilities. He works a lot. I work a lot. So when you do see each other, you try to you try to make it count. Yeah, we we, have these a week really or two conversations ago by that we don't we don't interact really, right? Yeah, and then it's like boom, we work out, and it's like oh hey, all these things happen, uh-huh. and we start. And we discuss the lessons that we've learned in the past week <laughs> or two, and it's like, well, if we actually do it in a structured way, yeah. Now this is not only hopefully help someone else, but it's also help us. Yeah. To yeah. remind ourselves of the beliefs that we have, mm-hmm. you know, and and keep ourselves in alignment and be accountable. To, to each other and to ourselves, and same when you're talking to other people, yeah. you have this opportunity to yeah. learn. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I, I like to take the stance. Um, and <clears throat> I guess, you know, in a generic way, you could say, keep an open mind. And I, I like to think that I do have an open mind. Uh, but I, something I always say, and I, I say this to Jess a lot, my wife say, it's safe to say that everybody knows at least one thing that you don't know. Mm-hmm. So like everybody in this room knows something that I don't know for sure. But even, you know, you just take an example, anybody you walk past in the grocery store, the homeless individual on the corner, the, um, even the child that you, you know, was playing basketball in the park, everybody knows at least one thing that you don't know. Oh, yeah. And it, so Joe Rogan, he's the example. He talks to all these people and he picks up those one or two things from everybody. Right. And now he's, now he's, yeah. I mean, he was probably a, an intelligent guy already right. um, with, with a broad, you know, spectrum of knowledge. But man, can you imagine what he's gathered over? He's in thousands of episodes in with so many different people. And he's picked up one or two little things from each one of those people. Mm-hmm. I mean, that guy's uh, outlook and, and knowledge base is just, yeah. just exploded. Oh, absolutely. So that's, that's a really cool, you know, that I didn't really think about Joe Rogan's show like that at or I didn't really put him in the spot of everybody knows at least one thing you don't know. Yeah. But you know. yeah, when you put him in that spot, it, yeah, it makes he's, total sense. He's talking, he always gives me shit. Cause I'll quote something Dude. from his, uh, he'll his say podcast. some shit. <laughs> and I'm like, guys, don't worry. This is from Joe. Rogan. <laughs> like, I already but, know. I listened to it enough to where I, he, mm-hmm. he, what'd you say today? Aliens. Um, no like uh he'll talk about like people with cats and like how much how many uh, animals cat like we had this musical artist what did you say what like cats are cat. vicious because i that, well then I'll, I'll do an impression of them too i'll be like let me see those cats are just vicious they just they just kill a lot of things they just <sighs> don't get them and they they're they're, they're silent killers man like, he yeah. practices <laughs> these joe rogan rants yeah <laughs> but he that's what that's what he said with the cat the the, the, the guest is like, wow, these are really, really pretty cats. He goes, you know, a cat is the only animal that if you die, it'll eat you. <laughs> like, I right, fucking Rogan. I don't know if that's true. That was true. That's so, a lot of animals. So, yeah. so my, um, my, that I'm guilty. My wife's like, you sound like Andy Frisella right now. Cause I'll like spout off some, uh, some like hardcore, you know, shit. Like, uh, somebody will be like, Oh, you know, they'll, they'll make a comment about how they wish they could do something. And I'll be like, you know, if you want to, if you want to fucking do something, just tell yourself you're going to do it and just, fuck, and just fucking go do it because you're the only person that's telling you that you can't do it. Nobody else is telling you you can't do it. And she's like, all right, Frisella. <laughs> that sounds like some Goggin shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, they, they, they have, they have yeah, a very similar thing. outlook yeah. on stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. <clears throat> who, but who is that guy that you showed me? The annoying oh, guy. He, he doesn't know who Gary V is. Oh, oh really? You know, Gary, y'all G- like Gary V? G- um, he says a lot without saying anything. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was really into Gary Vee when I first got into entrepreneurship. Yeah. You know, I've definitely separated a little bit and mainly the reason I, I like a lot of things that he says, gratitude and all that good stuff. Um, I separated a little bit just because I'm personally not that great with social media. Like as, Come a, on. as an individual, um, if, it, if it wasn't for Lucas, like our social media wouldn't <laughs> it would be, be flat. Yeah. <laughs> he was good enough at social media. We get a lot of damn praise on this yeah. episode. Man. Coach G <laughs> underscore Lucas was so good at it that Phil knew, or no, hold on. Phil was so good at social media that he knew he wasn't good at it. So he hired OTG Lucas. That's pretty good. Yeah. That, OTG that's Lucas. That's pretty much. <laughs> OTG underscore Lucas. <laughs> that's pretty much how it played out. But Gary V constantly talks about social media and I really don't like to be on it that much. If it wasn't for my business... Yeah, I wouldn't be a social well, media so person. Gary B, really, so Gary, Gary B sells it. Um, he talks. Gary B's all over the map. He mm-hmm. he's, he yeah. will comment on anything. And I have a lot of respect for Gary B. Obviously, he's hyper ultra successful. Um, some things I don't agree. Whatever, right? But I still think that there's value to be added. 
um, or to be taken from him. But right. Phil, <clears throat> I think Gary V said he talks about it in a way that um, people are like, oh, I don't have I don't have all these resources. And Gary V's like, hold on, everybody in the whole world, most people have access to a to these all these free crazy popular social media platforms your instagrams mm-hmm. your facebook mm-hmm. so forth so don't tell me <clears throat> you don't have a way to get the message out or you don't have um there, there's no way for you to uh search and find uh, ideas or research and see if an idea that you have has already been tried you can get right here on this little device or, or a, a phone or a, a computer somewhere and you can you got, you got free advertisement. You got free, um, you know, basically history, right? You can look at, you can look at whatever product it is or, or, uh, content you're trying to create and see what's out there compare. So that's kind of how Gary, yeah. I don't think he <clears throat> really says you need to be <clears throat> on your social media, just mindlessly scrolling, but he, he sells it as that. It's a very, it's a very strong tool. Yeah. yeah and it is. It, it really is for me. I just went the paid advertising route. I use social media, but we went the paid route versus right. the organic route. And to, to the lay person listening, they probably don't even understand the difference between those two things, but they're completely different things. Getting mm-hmm. into paid advertising on social media and pushing your social media organically are worlds apart. And me personally, I've just found more success in the paid advertising right. realm, which Gary Vee doesn't talk about as much. Like, no. so. like boosting and stuff like that? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's different than boosting for sure because you're getting into the actual business side of Facebook. You know, you can boost your stuff on Facebook just as an individual or as, as a business. Boost. Um, and boosting, it works definitely differently. <laughs> I don't but know what that is. So I... <laughs> <laughs> when you get into, like, the business manager, you can dig a lot deeper than just boosting, yeah. you know, so. And it, and it helps too? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's our main. That's how we got the, our gym started. You know, I, obviously I started a little bit of social media organically, but then when I discovered paid advertising on Facebook, um, and the, then Google as well, paid advertising. You know, that's that's really where most of our traffic comes from. The uh, rapper that we had on today, she's Slim Thug. Thug. No, Sunny. Oh, Sunny oh. the rapper. Close. She's she blowing up. And What's you, her name? Sunny the rapper. T H A. T H A. Sunny the rapper. Very important. Okay. Right, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna check her out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm, she, I'm she a fan of all things it. Houston. I'm a I'm a Houston native. So if you're a Houston rapper, I'm gonna at least give you a shot. Yeah. No, she's dope. Shout out Paul Wall. She's dope. <laughs> we, but we tried. We reached out to uh, Paul. Yeah, no and, response. And got <laughs> well, keep trying. Gary, don't on. quit. Gary V that. Chris do Chris. not stop. He's, he's going to come on. Paul Wall will come on. One is We're going to have a show where we're, I'm going to say, what up, what up, what up? It's the OTG podcast. He's going to drop a bar. We're going to cut it. And it won't count. That's it. That's yeah. the whole show. No, I'm just kidding. I think he'll like it. He'll be a Paul Wall, baby. <laughs> Paul Wall, baby. Two cups. And then he'll like drop a little, like a couple little rhymes. And then Lucas cuts it. And that's it. And that's the so we, we send it. I think that'd be good. I'd yeah. watch. I, I, I'd watch it on. And that's a quick hit, too. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. People want. Remember that short stuff we were talking about? You know, oh, we, we, we pointed to you. We, we, talk, short <laughs> we talk trash, but you know how much traction that would gain? Because people would be like, look how stupid this is. They just drops, <laughs> he just drops a bar and, and walks off. and everybody viral. Shit, It would go viral because viral. of that. Absolutely. I didn't even think about that until just now. Mm-hmm. These ideas right. that come in right. our head. It's coming our way. On TikTok, go viral. Right? <laughs> TikTok, not Vine, because... Lucas never told me what happened to Vine. <laughs> OTG underscore Lucas. <laughs> Lucas, <laughs> Lucas is fucking up, man. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, uh, John, Mike, we are OTG. Um, we do like to include like a little fitness, little fitness section. Um, you brought the wrong guy on for that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sit different. <laughs> shit. Uh, there you go. Hey, Lucas, can we? Hey, There's a lot of meat right here. <laughs> let's not act like. Let's on that side. Let's everybody in this room not act like the prototype OTG shirt shouldn't be. Cu- Lucas, can we get some some zoom and focus on this for the viewers at home? Mm. Okay, cool. We got he's got a, he's got a clip now. <clears throat> but so um, even even if it's um, Phil said one or both of y'all ru- are runners, right? Is it is it both? I probably run more than you, fucker. No, I'm the runner. I work out. I run. I'm trying to get him back into. And when I, I ran, I ran faster and longer than no, that. No, and cooler. And, and when I come back, it it's better, still better happens. looking when you did it and so no, forth. Don't yeah. listen to this. We did a we did a hundred miles. Um, not just two of us. We did a hundred mile relay. So it was a five person team. Okay. Twenty four hours straight. So you do miles. twenty miles each. Wait a uh, minute, and y'all, and you showed up and ran the whole race by yourself. I almost had to because this guy, like, <laughs> he hardly made it. <laughs> he did better than expected. I'll put give him that better much. than expected. You used to run a, a yeah. lot, right? I, I still can run it. pretty good. He, 
Yeah, he so can run. So that, that, comp- that little competition we did was uh, 24 hours. Every hour we run four miles, and, and, and we had a five-man team. And it was a little off. Like one person did four loops, and the rest of them did five. Yeah. Mm. It was a, it was a, I think it was, it was a, a little link. more. Yeah, um, but it, the, the hard thing was a psychological thing because you had to stay up throughout the night. Oh, yeah. And we, I had to run three loops in the, in the dark. And <laughs> I had, had a headlight, headlamp, and it was very like humid. Like on, on a track? Or? No, it was out in the woods. Like country. In, uh, oh. in West Columbia. So, hey, the woods at night are a really creepy place. Yeah, uh, it, it was pretty. It was pretty intense. Like, I mean, yeah, I, I can't. I mean, there's probably like wildlife and shit out there. Like, yeah, it's on a reserve, like a little land. I mean, it's not like this flat. Like, oh, I'm on a, uh, I'm on a track. Not. You're like climbing uh, tree roots and shit. Like, it's oh, actually yeah. had some elevation change. See and, there? You know, in the south or whatever. But um, and there's a lot of texture change too. It's like pasture land. There's rocky mud. areas. Yeah, mud. Mm, it was split. uh yeah it was we, on new we year's camped eve. out too yeah wow. this past new year's eve yeah so exactly. not so a few weeks ago yeah yeah okay i yeah. ran pretty recently didn't see I? there look that's <laughs> pretty recent <laughs> pretty <Yeah>. recently <laughs> so the, qu- <laughs> the question we like to ask is um and this is a we don't i guess we've probably asked all of our guests it's just a point, universal question how fitness has impacted your lives your careers um and that could be Everything from running, weight training, uh, specific diet that you like to do that's, um, you know, maybe uh, made you better in some way, right? And you're at least in your in your eyes. So uh, is there anything like that that y'all guys would like to share? Any any fitness related stuff? That that That's yeah. his bread and butter. I want to hear it Rogan style. Okay. No. <laughs> All right, let me get some lunch. Here, we need just, to get, uh, Lucas, it's going to make you we, feel better. Like, <laughs> if we're going to do it Rogan style, we got to get this man a blunt with top of the line. If y'all beat. have some, please. <laughs> He's top got one. Let's get it. <laughs> Wait, go ahead, man. I uh, So I suffer for, from severe anxiety. I have bad anxiety. Mm-hmm. If we talk about a heart attack on this podcast, I'll go home and tonight I'll convince myself I'm going to have a heart attack. You're already having it right now. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, so we've kind of, and he suffers from anxiety too. So we've kind of like been able to talk through it and I've slowly figured out over this life. So Mike got me into running. I wasn't into running at all. Just weightlifting. Mm-hmm. I've figured out that what I eat and how much I run and how much I work out helps me mentally, no matter what else is going on in my life. Nice. Like if I stay consistent with my nutrition if I stay away from bread, if I stay away from sugar and I work out at least five days a week, mm-hmm. my, my anxiety is like diminished. I can control it a lot. Very easier. low. Yeah. If I have caffeine and stuff like that, that that's a trigger for me. Yeah. Um, and okay. I love caffeine, but yeah, at, oh, yeah. like we, um, we had his cousin on his cousin, um, was diagnosed with ALS mm. th- this year and it's a, a hardcore d- d- disease, right? I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it, and he's progressed really fast. It's, mm. it's, he's in bad shape, but, um, that, weekend like one of the symptoms is muscle twitches okay and i heart i started having muscle twitches where my arms were twitching and then it moved to my legs and then it moved into every part of my body and there was a month period there where i was this like i'm dead i'm gonna die (laughs) mike was trying to like talk me off a cliff i didn't want to do the podcast anymore i was like something's i'm 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 about to die yeah and then that's when you were not running too yeah i wasn't running Mm. i kind of like ventured off into um you got hurt no, no, no. Well, yeah. So I've been dealing with plantar and then I got COVID. It was after COVID, right? No. Yeah. After COVID. So I kind of stopped running and it was an excuse to stop working out a little oh, bit and eat like there. shit. Um, but yeah. So after that, I found this girl on YouTube who mm-hmm. her, her, her video was called um, muscle twitching video and her name, uh, her YouTube channel is Sherelle thinks. And she puts a lot of stuff out mm-hmm. on, uh, on mental health. And she like was literally everything that she was saying was like, how I'm feeling. Like it, it, you know, if you're muscle twitching, it's not, it's anxiety. If you have anxiety, like everything was just speaking to me and it was like the light bulb. Went like, off. That's like, me. That's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I started working out again and then it, it slowly went away. I still get them every now and then, yeah. but, uh, that's, that's why I like fitness and I'm, I'm tr- trying to stay on top of my nutrition and yeah. I try to like bleed that onto my family. My family probably yeah. hates me talking about it, but my wife is now like into mm. his face. That's an OTG. OTG underscore Lucas. Damn it. OTG underscore Lucas. You uh, fell off like Vine. <laughs> what happened? Oh my gosh, but yeah, so it's, it's me. It's more of a, like, yeah, I want to look good, but I want to mentally feel good. Yeah, yeah. For, for sure. Dude. So I can relate to that. I wouldn't say that I have, um, high anxiety levels or, uh, or even like debilitating or anything like that. But absolutely. When I go, uh, 
an extended amount of time, week, two weeks, where my diet's not right and or my training isn't there, I start I start to get really uh, just more overall negative, right? Yeah, start, your confidence goes down. Yeah, I start <clears> to feel <throat> yeah. I start to feel off in general. I am I am more anxious. I do feel more stressed. My outlook is more negative in general. I'm like, ah. You know, like where I would normally be positive and happy and smiling, I'm kind of like, yeah, whatever, you know, yep. and it just brings my mood down overall. And um, so I can relate to that in that way for sure. Like when it, when it's off and then the opposite's true too, when it's on and I'm perfect and weeks go by and months go by, I'm like, I'm confident. And, you know, we talked about this a little bit last week too. My finances, I start to like, I dial that <laughs> in too. Like, yeah. it, it, like it, everything kind of follows yeah. when, when my fitness is is on point and I'm making the progress that I want to make, whether it's losing weight or trying to get stronger or whatever it is, or just be consistent when that's there, everything else follows suit. And yeah. it, you know, my wife, my, the people around me, everybody notices a difference in me. Yeah. It's funny. So, you mentioned that my wife was like, you need to probably go run today. Yeah. I'm a better <laughs> father. Like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more easy going. Um, when I, when I'm doing that stuff, I like to talk shit to Mike, but we, I do get confident. <laughs> yeah. And then I start talking like, Mike's like, Hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I just got done running fat ass. What, what about you? <laughs> what about you? Lazy guy. <laughs> That's the problem. He gets too cocky <laughs> when he starts doing this. Only shit, to, so. only to him though. Cause it's like a relationship where I can right. talk shit to Mike's him. Mike's like, Hey, well, you should, probably shouldn't go run today. The weather's, <laughs> the weather's <laughs> bad outside. You yeah. should stay I'm in. I'm worried about your knees. Yeah, I'm worried <laughs> about, you, dude, I didn't notice you had a slight limp. Uh, maybe that ankle starting to, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. I'd rather be a little more anxious. Yeah. <laughs> there needs to be a balance. You know? Yeah, man. At least I think so. But uh, hey, uh, so another question: uh, Is one of y'all a vegan? <laughs> not, not really anymore. Okay. Oh, okay. Because yeah, that's what I was this. telling when we had our episode. Yeah, yeah. Because you, were... I'm, I primarily uh, eat uh, uh, plant based. but yeah. uh, I we I ventured off. Uh, I, you know, I used to eat meat. I used to eat the standard American diet. We used to eat burgers and lasagna and yeah. steak and all this stuff. All so. the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's you know it's hard to completely take it out, but yeah, I've talked on the podcast about venturing off a little bit, but yeah. I still have my beliefs, and I'm 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 struggling. Like I'm, I want to go back, mm -hmm. um, but then I started like eating cheese, and it's really addictive. And, yeah, oh yeah, and that was the hardest thing for me to break for a long time because cheese, che like cheese and bread. Uh, dude, I don't know if you've ever tried to cut it out, but there, uh, it's cheese, very addictive. Cheese is. I think they've compared huh? it to cocaine. There's no I, bread in here at all. I, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but they eat cheese. No, I've seen OTG Lucas. <laughs> I love that. That's not his name. <laughs> like, yeah. He's associated okay. with the company. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a person. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a bot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be OG, the Lucas bot. <laughs> For people who don't know, it could just be a bot rolling around. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he was actually on, now the he's show. on the show. He was on the so, show. Well, now they've they seen, know. They've seen yeah. him. That, no, we were just watching them. That, that wasn't Lucas. Yeah, that wasn't Lucas. <laughs> that, wasn't that, Lucas. Was the, that was the Lucas bot. This is a robot on a Zumba. The Lucas bot. Yeah, yeah. Zumba. Roomba. Roomba's Roomba. driving around. It's vacuuming and it looks like Lucas. DJ, <laughs> DJ Roomba. Running into shit. Yeah. He actually is running into a lot of shit today. <laughs> so, so, man, it's funny you talk about being a vegan and then kind of venturing off and wanting to go back. So, I'm going to try to sum up uh, a really long story. So, several years back, I started having... Um, I started having several uh, med medical issues that kind of sprung up out of nowhere one day. This was probably 20, I guess, 15, 14, somewhere in that range, give or take. And I, I was having like these random severe allergic reactions where I had to get like epinephrine. Like I had hives and my eyes were oh. swelling shut. Oh. Like I would just be like the first time I have it, I was just sitting at work and I was doing my paperwork. <clears throat> and the guys and I were about to get out and start working and I just started to like, and something's going on. They're like, dude, you're okay. You look, you look weird. And they were like, we'll get started without you. And I kind of sat in the truck. And when they came, I was all, you know, swole up, had to go to the emergency room. So that's happened a few times. And then I started having like severe, like uh, st stomach pain. Um, not necessarily <clears throat> that at, at first there wasn't really any pattern that I thought. Right. And um, I started having like extreme fatigue and I couldn't, um, my, um, uh, my, I was kind of had a lot of brain fog, you know, and I couldn't remember fucking anything and started to have all these issues, like, and they kind of sprung up out of nowhere. And, you know, I'm going to all these doctors and everything. Well, fast forward, um, I finally go to an immunologist and they're like, yeah, you have a, um, you have a, basically you have autoimmune disease. And what he told me I had was lupus. And it, I guess in my opinion, or not my opinion, I thought that men, that was a, a women, uh, like 
women only got lupus. I didn't know at that time. I don't know anything about it. Right, but everybody can get lupus. But anyhow, <clears throat> or can be born with it or whatever. I still don't know a lot about it. But they were like, yeah, that's what you got. And shortened up some more. They were basically like, not a lot we can directly do to treat you. You know, autoimmune diseases are kind of all over the place. And um, I found, the reason I'm telling you this, I found that uh, meat, uh, red meat and cheese was was the main reason that I was having this. St- when I would eat that, my stomach would, would, um, would what, so what was causing the stomach pains was my intestines would swell. They were having like a reaction to wow. the meat and the cheese. And um, <clears throat> it's weird because with autoimmune disorders, um, symptoms come and go. They're, they're not the same all the time. Like you don't have one thing that's going to cause problems for you forever. Usually it'll, it'll come in spurts, right? Like phases. So <clears throat> pretty quickly I was like, all right, no red meat and cheese. And then I was like, well, if I'm going to do this, I might as well just be a vegan. So I did that for about a year. And, um, it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I did notice that my, uh, endurance, like when I would go run and stuff, I could go and go and go and go. Um, I didn't really notice any crazy physique changes or anything, but, um, it kind of cleared up the mental fog I was having. It cleared up the stomach issues that I was having. <clears throat> and I started, I, I wasn't having any of the allergic reactions anymore. And I was like, man, this is really cool. Well, about a year in, I started to slowly kind of work, work that stuff back in. And it was, at first it was like bad. Like I would eat a little bit and it would be like, I was sick. Like yeah, real I, re- sick. I remember when you did that and I was shocked yeah. when he went away from it. Cause I just remember constantly <clears throat> talking to you about how, how good he felt and yeah. how good you, um, you were performing. You said work was great. Everything was so good. Now that you're, you're doing this vegan thing. And I was like, mm-hmm. well, I guess he's vegan forever. Yeah. You know? and, then- and, um, so I, I slowly started to, um, it was more of a, the reason I kind of started to phase it back in, it was kind of more of a test to see like, can I tolerate it at all anymore? And, um, and short version is I, yes, I can. Um, and now I, I pretty, a lot more normal diet. I still, the, the red meat's still pretty minimal overall. Um, chicken, some fish, uh, dairy, uh, a lot less than before, but, um, yeah, I had my, I had a solid year of vegan experience. So, um, That's interesting. No, no, um, Oh, nothing but love, man, to, to the to the yeah. vegan community because I I, I didn't you hate that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't have uh, it was a pretty good experience for me. So um, now, but now I'm kind of like I said, I'm definitely not a vegan. You're either a vegan or you're not, right? Yeah. And there is meat in there, but a lot more minimal than than yeah. I was before. And the I feel like the quality of uh, animal products that I eat. I make sure generally that it's a better quality. You know, I'm not getting some bottom of the barrel. Like I don't go down to Burger King and, and order <laughs> something off the menu. Yeah. Right. But, uh, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of my, my experience with it. So I was intrigued when he told me he was like, he was like, one of them's a vegan. And, uh, <laughs> one of them. you don't remember? <laughs> yeah. The hippie. Yeah. 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 hippie. Should have known. <laughs> I, I had an experience too that, um, I ended up watching a documentary a long time ago, and uh, it's called Forks for Knives. And, I've seen that. Um, yeah, it's on Netflix. I've seen it too. Now there's a lot of them. It's a bunch yeah. of pop. But it was like in propaganda. It was like in 2000, <laughs> like I don't know, 16 or something. And I watched it, and I went cold turkey for a year vegan. Yeah, I didn't know anything about it. I did it completely wrong. I like went to a restaurant and had iceberg lettuce, nothing else. Like, <laughs> didn't know how to do it, so yeah. I, I had to learn as I went. But um, things that I noticed, I used to do this. Th- I used to drive. I, I drive. I've drive an hour to work now, thirty minutes, but it used to be an hour uh, mm. one way. And I had this joint pain in my knee, but I never injured it. Um, I never had anything wrong with it. And it was to the point where I had to pick my leg up over the console and put it in the passenger seat and then just to ease the pain. Mm -hmm. And this was always like 20 minutes in the drive and I had to suffer for 40 minutes. And this is right around when I switched. And then um, a couple months go by. And and this is something I had to do every time I drove for for, uh, probably a year. Yeah. And then as... um, as I go along with this vegan diet, um, I notice after a while, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not picking my leg up anymore and putting it over the side. I'm yeah. not, I don't have any pain anymore. And like I said, I never injured it. Um, yeah. I, I didn't know what was happening. I just knew that if I put it over to the other side, it was going to feel better. But I noticed with veganism too, I would, uh, my skin would clear up my, you know, my hair would 
feel better. I would yeah. feel better. No brain fog. I used to tell John this all the time. He knew me when I was a vegan for a long time. Um, and now I don't claim it. You know, every once in a while I'll, I'll eat meat or sometimes I'll eat cheese. Cheese is a bad one. So like you were saying, like with autoimmune disease, a lot of people go on these elimination diets. Like, like he's doing uh, carnivore and a lot of people like who's Jordan, uh, Jordan Peterson, Peterson and his daughter and his daughter do big it because yeah. they have autoimmune disease, but they have something very severe that, you know, if they put the wrong salt on their steak, they're going to have a reaction. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, um, you know, vegan can be somewhat of that too. You're kind of eliminating a lot of things yeah. that you normally eat. Um, but, so I, the brain fog went away. I felt great. It just sucks saying you're a vegan because <laughs> you're the topic of discussion. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I like not saying I'm a vegan no more because then I'm not every time I'm eating like, how do you eat like that? How long you been, can you have this? Like, yeah. mm-hmm. court, my, my girlfriend's mom would oh, pull damn. out a pineapple. And like vegan? throw it in your face. Yeah. Yeah. Like vegan vegan? Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. That's a vegan yeah. pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, I like not saying it anymore. Right. Um, yeah. Because that's the big joke. I, I, I agree with that. I, I agree because it was never, I was never like, <clears throat> I'm a vegan just because in the beginning it wasn't, I, I'm a vegan just because I feel like being a vegan or for the animals or for whatever other reason that was kind of like, man, if I eat that, I'm going to have a crazy allergic reaction and my eyeballs are going to swell up and I'm going to have stomach pain and everything. So mm-hmm. And then eventually it got to the, when I found out that I actually liked it and it was working well for me, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm a vegan. And <laughs> people would be like, oh, well, why? And I would kind of be like, well, you know, it started off with me having some problems and I didn't want to go into the autoimmune and, and how I went about deciding to do it and all that good jazz. I would just say it. But yeah, there's so, there's so much, you know, when you say it, people are like, oh, how do you do that? I could never do that. Yeah. What is it? Is this a vegan? Where do you get your protein? Yeah, where do you get your protein? How are you ever going to gain yeah. muscle? Where do you get your B12? Like it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you, it's annoying. So yeah. do you have to go get shots, you know, yeah. and everything? And, are you dying? And, and, are you, are you going to die? Yeah. Uh, are your bones just going to break? Are you going to yeah. fall down and, and, and your bones are going to break, you know, yeah. because you're a vegan, you know, I'm like, no, that's, that's not how it works, you know? Yeah. So you can be perfectly healthy and normal and in shape and be a vegan. And you, the, 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 the opposite is also true. You can be, you can eat a more standard diet with meat and dairy in there. And you can also be in great shape, you know, and, and healthy and live. Right. So both are true, but both can be done. And, um, I found that out for sure. So, um, I'm definitely a lot lighter than I was before on the dairy, especially. And then, um, red meat, Uh, I'm not saying it's still in there, but it's not near where, you know, a lot of chicken, some fish. And then, um, pretty much everything is, is, a other than that's plant, you know, pretty plant-based diet, yeah. um, that you know, not, not, it's not a full blown vegan diet, but it's a lot less than it was yeah. before. So that's good when you eliminate something that affects you too. Cause like with dairy, I'm lactose intolerant. So if I eat dairy, oh, my wow. stomach's jacked. Yeah. But when I take it away and reintroduce it, I can go a couple of days without it just like, it like missing, like nothing, yeah. nothing messes up with it. So the more you add, the more the mm. symptoms come back. So yeah. For I sure. definitely want to jump back and it kind of seems like you kind of want to go back too. You know, I, I'm not opposed to it. I thought about doing a, um, for the, like for the OTG YouTube channel, mm-hmm. doing like a vlog or, a, um, some kind of, I guess like a documentary, like a series on it and go back and try it for a little while. And, and I say, try it, just do it yeah. for a little while. And, uh, really, cause at the time I was doing it so that I wouldn't die. You know, I wouldn't <laughs> have like an allergic reaction. My throat swell shut or something, but now it would be kind of, I would probably do it and actually write down, Hey, I noticed today that, um, I, it was easier to get out of bed when my alarm went off. Uh, my knee didn't hurt while I was driving. Uh, I went on a run and when I hit the three mile mark, I was cooking. I wasn't even looking at the stop, you know, at the watch, you know, or anything like that stuff and write it all down. And then, you know, also, I mean, there's probably some negative side effects. Maybe I went to the gym and I noticed that I couldn't squat as much perhaps. Right. But, and just kind of say, Hey, at the end, do it for several months and go, this, this is what I saw, you know, pros, cons, you know, yeah, that'd be whatever. Cool. That, that'd be kind of a cool little series to do. Yeah. So I, I was thinking, I was thinking, but that's actually the first time I've talked about this. Phil, surprise. I'm about bringing it out bring the like, best of them. I was like, I was like, like that vegan. Well, the, thing is, that on my channel. the thing is you have to actually try. 
You have to yeah. try things. Yeah. yeah. You know, you don't don't just take somebody else's word for it. Don't bash it because you never tried it. Don't think that it's great just because somebody you like said it. Yeah. And yeah. that happens a lot, you know, in our world. So Absolutely. you actually have to try things. Like you're trying carnival right now, right? Yeah. How's that going? Well, so I, I'm mainly, I'm, I'm a meat eater anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, Same. I don't really Same. eat a whole lot of, I, I try to include vegetables yeah um but then i'm treat i'm like tricking my mind out with uh paul saldino Jeez. the, the car <laughs> yeah. yeah. ridiculous okay. you yeah. speak the same language i guess it's like it's uh i don't know like some of the stuff's pretty intense but it makes sense right when he's talking about plants putting off bad chemicals and yeah you shouldn't eat that because if you cook this uh this plant to a certain temperature it's going to put off this bad chemical and it's going to hurt mm. your body and all so anyway I mainly eat meat regardless, so it's not a big change. What's the big change is not eating pizza like every Friday. <laughs> yeah. That's the big change. That's, that's, yeah, that's the big hard. change in a lot, <laughs> in yeah, a lot of people's hard. Oh, diet. fuck yeah. That's, <laughs> hard. that's yeah. why people get results usually. It's yeah. not following this one thing. It's eliminating this other really oh, bad yeah. thing is usually yeah. the It's just tips. so easy because yeah. um, we uh, – so I uh, – every year for the past three years, I've been getting a, a, a steer from my cousin. He has mm-hmm. a big ranch in West Texas, so we – we butcher a steer and then I get everything. So it's steak, it's yeah. ground beef, the whole works. Um, so that's what we eat on. We just eat grass fed, grass yeah. finished. Yeah. He, he hates when I say that. <laughs> there, there's a difference. There, there really is there's a difference. There's a big difference. Um, you gotta do it, do it right, I guess. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what we so my cool. kids mainly eat meat as well. They'll eat fruit and stuff like yeah. that. Um, but it's just I, I only eat mainly one time a day. Like that's mm, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty cool, man. Felt good. So there's something to be said for um, wh- whether you're a vegan or a, on the carnivore diet or a paleo or whatever you decide to do. I, I think that um, a whole food, right? So you can eat, you can be a vegan and eat whole food and eat a whole food diet. You can be on the paleo. I think paleo is a whole paleo food. Is that, is that is kind of the idea? Yeah, pretty much. You can be a carnivore and you can eat a whole food diet. So I think there's something to be said for for eating mostly whole foods it start it's whenever you get into the um it's wherever you get into the pizzas and the ice cream oh, the ultra processed process. the yeah. ultra processed is when you start having more problems in yeah. general right general statement so there's something to be said for that too um uh, and, and I'm a fan I, I try to I try to eat as close to whole food as I can right um generally and uh, it were it tends to work for me yeah i, I like eat it. minimal minimal vegetables as well do you yeah actually oh, yeah. My, my only vegetable source on a daily basis is like a greens drink <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. you mix up in the morning a little bit not, of corn yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes sometimes yeah. but no nah, i'm not a big vegetable guy it doesn't make me feel that good i uh huh. I, I feel like i don't i don't feel bad with it and i don't feel bad without it so uh, sometimes i kind of do feel bad with it like really Broccoli, Brussels sprouts. I well, like them. Don't st- get me fill wrong. Fill your stomach. <laughs> yeah, I have a very sensitive stomach in general. Yeah. Um, but most vegetables, yeah, I just don't feel that great afterwards. Wow. Okay. You know? Well, so. there's something to be said for like nightshades too. Like when you yep. when you break apart ve- vegetables too, there's some that are better and worse. So. Right. Mm-hmm. Have you I, ever heard of the vertical diet? Uh, no. Stand uh, efforting? I feel like we talked about it. What oh, really? It? No. Remind me. Um, I don't know if we did or not. But yeah, the vertical diet is uh, pretty, it's a lot of red meat. Salmon is your protein sources. Bison. Um, what do you call um, what do you call animals that that feed off feed, eat off the grass? Ruma. Uh, the they have multiple feeders? stomach. They have multiple grazers. Stomachs also. No, there's a, there's a more there's a um, grass fed with, grass finished. It starts with an R. It starts with an R, but basically it includes bison, cows, deer, you know things like that. They have uh, multiple stomachs okay. usually, but you anyways. Um, it includes a lot of that and then very limited vegetables as well. Yeah. Okay. He has like a list of vegetables that are non nightshade and also non something else. I, I don't remember, but anyways, it's very low vegetable and it's all about digestive health, but I eat a lot of fruit. So oh, I eat yeah. very little, don't give me a start on fruit, very little yeah. vegetables, probably like, man, to be honest with you, like. One or two servings a week, maybe. No. Um, but a lot of fruit. Cantaloupe, pineapple, all the fruit, I'll eat it all. That's what know? that knees over, to, uh, over toes knees guy. Knees over toes guy? Yeah, I don't a, know much about him, but he's a, I've heard of him. He's a, he's mostly meat, but he eats fruit. Like his yeah. his dessert is fruit every Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'll put it with a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of Greek yogurt. Yeah. Much mm, protein, uh, you, know? you, w- you would. Mm. You would. <laughs> you would do that. <laughs> I, I went off in the weeds, and I went all fruit for mo- several months. Yeah, Like fruititarian? 
How do, how do people know these words? Well, he's a smart guy. So <laughs> when I was vegan, I, I was like ultra vegan. And yeah. then I went to raw to where I didn't cook what I ate. Yeah. And then I started reading a bunch on fruit. Mm-hmm. And that's the best I've ever felt in my whole life. Really? So uh, when you went, is it fruitarian? Is that a word? It, yeah, that's the thing. It actually is the word. The thing. It, yeah. So you only eat fruit? At, yeah, for for probably six months, I was all in fruit. Really? Because I, I, so I, 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 did, I did a lot of fasting. So okay. like I would eat, there's a transitional period to, to do longer fast. Right. And the fast were for like spiritual reasons. So I would, uh, it went from like one week I'll do a 24 hour fast. Mm-hmm. And then the next week I'll do two days, three yeah. days. I worked up to five days. Wow. And then I did a 12 day water fast, only water. <laughs> I lost like, I, the goal wasn't to lose weight, but I lost um, 20 pounds in 12 days. Only water, 12 days. Only water. Zero calories. He almost Nothing. died. Wow. How, how did you feel? No. I felt, well, so after a certain <laughs> amount of days. You don't say you great. <laughs> no, you had, I, have to, I read this book on, on how to actually do I mean, it's, it's pretty dangerous. I think back now and I'm like, shit, what was I thinking? Because mm-hmm. after about a week, um, shit gets a little dicey. Like you can't get up very quickly or you'll pass out. Mm-hmm. Like don't go into a hot bathtub and then get up quickly. Like there's things that, that are, are pretty crazy. And then breaking the fast, you can't go eat potatoes or something. Oh and, yeah. And load up your rich, system. Yeah. My, my stomach shrank. Uh, I did all kind. I, I did this, I did, um, fasting and, um, and I, and so when you do, you start doing raw and then you start doing fruit and then you're able to go on longer fast. So mm-hmm. five days wasn't shit. The shit part of it was the social aspect. I couldn't go out to eat with nobody. I wasn't yeah. drinking. So like, I was like, well, what the hell do I do with my time? So I started reading. It kind of yeah. goes into the hard 75 stuff, but 75 hard, hard, 75 hard, hard. Yeah. the other way. Yeah. I've never done that shit, but I, that's what you naturally want to do. You want to start learning. Like you, you'll notice like if you're, you know, scrolling, You'll read a whole article. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't, of just the uh, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but like when <laughs> yeah. I'm eating yeah. good, just in general, but also in fruit, I would read the whole article. I'd read the shit. I'd read the advertisements. Yeah. Like, I want to know more stuff. <laughs> I read the comments. Yeah. yeah. And fuck so this wow. guy. I love Blue's Clues. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that a Super lot. Super interesting. I've never done more than a four. I've done a 48 hour uh, fast before. Wow. Um, actually, I think it ended up going a little longer, maybe like 50, but um, okay. never, never anything beyond beyond that and uh i thought i was badass but 12 days we did oh. uh, we did uh enemas too really yeah s- s- so i weigh i walk around at like 190 uh-huh what's your fighting weight um I, with pizza it's 200 <laughs> but with pizza it's 200 mike, easy. mike tell the truth <laughs> with, with pizza 200 without 190 one, yeah. that's a real metric so 190 <laughs> whenever i was fasting and eating fruit i was 132 Really? Jeez. And how tall are you? Like six two? Six two. Yeah. yeah. That's tall. Wow. So I was I was thin thin, but man, I was wearing like I was wearing like my girlfriend's pants. <laughs> because well, they long enough though. That, 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 they were too big for me. Oh, shit. Which, which is fucking crazy. And I had these clearances, boy. Like my arms wouldn't touch, my legs wouldn't touch. Like it was like oh. it, but it was nice. Like but I was fucking cold all the time. Oh, I can imagine. All the time. I had to wear a jacket and it's hot as shit outside. Man, super interesting stuff, dude. Yeah. So do you recommend it? I would recommend there's a transition period. You don't just go to eat meat to go to fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's some shit you'll go through. There'll be yeah. a lot of uh, mental stuff, neurological stuff. That, yeah. Yeah. And it's, and, fu- it's funny noticing what hunger is and what addiction is. Like mm. whenever, you know, whenever lunchtime comes, that's not true hunger. It's like. Appetite versus hunger or. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's, it's like your body. Oh, we, we normally eat about this time. Mm-hmm. Where's it at? Yeah. Where is it? Your yeah. brain, your brain wants yeah. it, right? Or are you actually hungry? Yeah. And knowing how much you really need to eat. Like I, I thought it was fine eating once a day and you know, they, they have that. I know a lot right? of people eat once a day. They do the intermittent fasting and it's once a day, but you, I mean, you can even go more. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's very interesting what your body can do. And after you fast for so long, you don't really, you don't crave food. Yeah. I mean, you crave it whenever you actually need it. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to overeat on bucking oranges or bananas. <laughs> yeah. Not like Doritos, you know, yeah. You'll, yeah. Yeah. you'll eat a bag of Doritos. You'll Damn eat right. one or two bananas. I might done. even put some of those on my pizza. <laughs> or I'll get like a slice of pizza, or slice talking. of pizza, Doritos between Dude. and eat it like that. Oh, now you're talking man. my language. What are you <laughs> doing today? <laughs> Y'all want to get pizza after this? Yeah. Hell Let's yeah, man. Lucas does. And Daryl, you know, maybe you can uh, invite Mike. 
Uh, hey, yeah. well, I want to have Mike I'll and Lucas go pick it up for I'll me. I'll and, be on um, the stairs. I'll be on the stairmaster. Yeah. 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 Me and Phil will hit the gym. And Sounds good. Whatever. You know, I guess We're training after up. this or what, dude? Let's go. Okay. I've actually, today, uh, I'm, today I'm off, but I do need to, uh, I can oh, do some no, cardio. You're doing legs You see this today. here? You see this? Yeah. We used to go run and stuff. You're now. doing legs today. Yeah. Whoa. So you have kids. <laughs> I have kids, so I can't run with you. I like it better at my house because I have kids. Yeah. used to go run and Man, guys, <laughs> super, super fun show. This is this is an interesting one. We need to have a whole other podcast and talk about the, the experience with the carnivore, talk about the 12-day, f- strictly talking about these things, the 12-day fast, the the fruititarian. I've never even heard that word before. Yeah, I've read, I've seen right. that, but I, I've never... I've never met a fruititarian. Are, <laughs> before don't, we don't say you're that because that's even worse than vegan. <laughs> before, <laughs> before we segue into the close here, um, how, is there people that are fruititarian period in life that just that's how they roll all the time? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. There's like there's ultra a distance there's runners. a ultra runners. Yeah. So just like the guys that eat all meat. That who's that guy that he he runs a hundred miles in like a six minute pace. Wow. He has the record for it, and all he wow. eats is bitter. meat. Zach Bitter? Zach, Zach, thank Zach you. something, yeah. Zach, Zach, Zach Bitter. Bitter. And uh, so he does that, and then there's a fruitarian that has the same results just eating fruit. So it's like, I think it's a mono diet, really, mm-hmm. not mixing all this shit together. Yeah. You, know, you need this, this, and this. You stick to one thing that's, uh, for you. that's, well, that's of course, healthy, not Snicker bars or whatever, but damn, oh, that might not be bad, though. I cross that one off. That has a lot <laughs> of good calories in yeah. there. But, but yeah, healthy like, fats. <laughs> if your body knows to break that one thing down, and it, and if you feed it to it all yeah. the time, it's like, it becomes right, I remember super this. Efficient. I remember this, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, I, it, it, I'm not, I can't, like, quote any exact um, articles or, or studies here, but I, I would say that there's probably not a study... There's plenty of studies out there that will argue and say that digestive health is one of the biggest keys to um, oh, being overall healthy, right? Or, or um, overall in better shape. If your digestive health, if your digestive system is working well and your micro, gut microbiome is in a good place, then you're going to have overall better results. Period. With everything yeah. in your life, as yeah. far as you know, physical, right? Uh-huh. Um, so. I, Maybe uh, you can train your digestive system, and if you're only eating fruit and it knows that that's what it's getting, it gets really good at digesting it, and maybe that's what you know where it translates into. And same thing with meat guy. What's his name? Zach Bitter. Zach yeah, Bitter. maybe his body knows that's what he's getting. That's what we're gonna digest, and maybe that's I don't know. There's don't this know. Uh, guy named uh, I don't know what his real name is, but on Instagram he's the low carb runner. Mm-hmm. He just completed I want to say over 200 or right at 200 miles without eating or drinking or he drank water, but he didn't take in any nutrition. He did it all fasted. Wow. And that's like unheard of. You don't, yeah, you don't do that. Have like, they stop and get like, yeah, uh, they do the, the gels, gels, the gels the, and stuff. Yeah. stuff. Yeah. He did it completely fasted. Wow. wow. And he like killed the time. And that's the ideology between like fasting and it doesn't have to be fruit, but our bodies are, we don't, I, we don't need as much as we think. Yeah, we don't give them credit for. They're, they're badass. Our already, yeah. our bodies are badass. We don't give them yeah. credit. We don't mm-hmm. know what they're capable. You gotta of. train them though. Yeah. Like you can't oh, just yeah. jump to this mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. yeah, rock and roll, guys. Man, super fun. So we're gonna have another show. We're gonna talk. We're gonna get more. We're gonna get way off in the weeds. <laughs> and I'm gonna just start the show and say. What's better, vegan or carnivore? Oh, and just let y'all two start going we'll at it. We'll get the gloves out. You yeah, know we'll get I mean? the gloves oh, out. Shit, we'll do it. We'll beat do it. his ass. <laughs> I can't reach my fucking face. <laughs> 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 it's belly. <laughs> yeah, it's padded. You're not going to get through. So, guys, John, Mike, man, it's been fun. Where can we find you at? Where can the listeners find y'all? Uh, no, that's you. That's you, That's dude. you. Okay. That's Instagram, oh, Facebook, <laughs> YouTube, uh, podcast platforms. Uh, all of it. So, uh, Spotify, all the spot, all the podcast platforms. Mm-hmm. Right? YouTube, TikTok. TikTok, um, not Vine. Twitter. We just started a Twitter, by the way. <laughs> um, Twitch, all of it, just Curiosity with John and Mike. What's the other one? Cre- Rumble. We're about to be on Rumble too. Uh, Curiosity uh, with John and Mike. Curiosity. All one, all one word. And that you can find that's on all platforms. Everything, yeah. Rock and roll, man. So Curiosity with John and Mike. Yo, oh, is John have an H or no H? No H. Oh shit! Hold yep. on. He's I knew that. that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> See how that's default. This is a common conversation. Uh, He's not a j- real John. There's well, something missing. Uh, it's a Mexican thing. <laughs> well, the H he would have been. So it's, it's a Mexican, Mexican thing. <laughs> Curiosity with yeah. John J O N and Mike. Yeah, is yeah. the and spelled out A N D? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rock and roll, guys. Well, listeners will definitely find y'all. Be sure to check them out for sure, y'all. And uh, man, we'll have to get y'all in the gym sometime too. 
Come, come train with us. Yeah, yeah. this guy. Yeah, yeah. Don't train his legs. Don't train his legs. Oh, we're but, actually going right after this. So yeah, if okay. y'all if y'all have anything going on, well, he's got to go eat or something. <laughs> I actually do. He does have. There is a big pineapple at the house. Yeah. That he's got to go under the seat. <laughs> well, man, it was fun to have y'all guys. And uh, yeah, listeners at home, be sure to check them out. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Um, you know, your grandma, whoever, your dog, tell them to listen. <laughs> I don't care. Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, I care, I've listened to um, uh, a few of y'all's episodes, uh, especially I didn't, I wasn't aware of it when Phil went on the show. I listened to that and was like, wow, and kind of picked it up. But um, it's the, the broad, the broad spectrum is, is, is really fascinating. You can get on there. It's like you said, similar to a road. You don't know what you're going to get that day. You get somebody on there that's way different than the guests before so it's a fun one yeah so y'all guys check them out and um yeah like subscribe check us out y'all thanks for listening appreciate it guys all right y'all